How to use? Two hundred twenty volts AC tubular motor. After connecting the circuit, we start pairing. First, press the learning button of the controller eight times to clear the code. The indicator light flashes and then goes out. Represents the completion of code clearing. After clearing the code, previously paired remote control all invalid. Need to repair. Momentary mode. Press the learn button one time. Observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the first button of the remote control to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, press the second button of the remote control. Pairing successful. Hold to turn. Release to stop. Same remote control. If we need to change the mode, then press the controller eight times to clear the code. Toggle mode. Press the learn button two times. Observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the first button of the remote control to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, press the second button of the remote control. Pairing successful. Press the A key to rotate the motor. Press the A button again to stop. Press the B key to reverse the rotation of the motor. Press the B button again to stop. Note that after pressing the A key here, you need to press the A key again to stop correctly. You cannot wait until the motor turns to the end or press the B button directly. Latched mode requires a three button or four button remote control. And when pairing different remote controls, no need to press the controller button eight more times to reset the controller. Otherwise, all paired remote controls will be deleted. Press the learn button three times. Observe that the indicator light goes out. Press the button of the remote control that needs to be matched. After the indicator light flashes and goes out, Press the second button on the remote control that needs to be paired. Pairing successful. Press the paired button. Motor rotates. Press an unpaired button on the remote control. Motor stops. The following is the process of pairing the four button remote control. Notice. A remote control will only match two buttons. The extra ones will not be paired. This shared power supply wiring method can control 110 volts, 220 volts AC motors. The two wires of the motor, forward rotation wire and reverse rotation wire, are connected to terminals 6 and 3 respectively. The live wire of the AC power supply is Connected to the L, 5, and 2 interfaces, connect the neutral line of the AC power supply to N and the motor common line. If there is a ground wire, connect it directly to the motor ground wire. If there is no ground wire, there is no need to connect it. The following is a remote control demonstration of 220 volts curtain motor.
Connecting an external DC power supply to a DC motor circuit can control a variety of DC motors. The two wires of the DC motor are connected to terminals 5 and 2 respectively. Connect the positive pole of the external power supply to terminals 6 and 3. Connect the negative pole of the external power supply to terminals 1 and 4. The live wire of the 220 volts AC power supply is connected to the L interface, and the neutral wire is connected to the N interface, which is responsible for powering the controller. The following is a remote control demonstration of a 12 volts DC linear actuator. A shared AC power supply connected to an AC light circuit can control two AC lights. The live wires of the two lamps are connected to interfaces 6 and 3 of the terminal respectively. The neutral wire of the two lamps and the neutral wire of the AC power supply are connected to the N interface of the terminal. The live wires of the AC power supply are connected to the 5, 2, and L interfaces of the terminals respectively. The following is a remote control demonstration for 220 volts AC lamps. Connecting an external DC power supply to a DC lamp circuit can control two DC lamps. The positive poles of the two lamps are connected to terminals 6 and 3 respectively. The negative poles of the two lamps are connected to the negative pole of the external DC power supply. The positive pole of the external DC power supply is connected to interfaces 5 and 2 respectively. The live wire of the AC power supply is connected to the L interface, and the neutral wire is connected to the N interface. The following is a remote control demonstration of a 12 volts DC lamp. 